Hey guys, it's Alicia. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. As many of you know, I recently transferred universities that semester and I thought it would be fun to take you guys along with me as I moved into the dorms. So if you enjoy this dorm move-in vlog, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and now let's get on to the video. I am not sure whether I am parked legally. I don't have a parking pass right now because you actually have a physical permit. Unlike at KU, they just have your license plate number in their registry. So I'm really hoping I don't get a ticket, but I feel like they're not as strict about it here as they were at KU. Okay, so I'm going to go and find my dorm and just kind of see what we're working with space-wise, and then I'll head back to the house, pack some things up, and start moving in. Here I am entering the door and the common room, going up the stairs, and it's important to note that I went through the door with the honors college sign because I'm part of the honors college in the honors housing, and so that made sense to me. So, <laughs> I'm supposed to be in this certain room number. I go there, I open the door. There is somebody else in the room. Um, she was super nice. Shout out Jess. Um, she was super understanding. I felt so bad though. I just barged into somebody's dorm room, but my key card let me in. So now I have to go talk to Residential Life um, because that girl has a roommate and lives in that room. So I'm definitely not in the room they said I was going to be in. Currently, even though the red door says Honors College, I'm not supposed to go in the red door. I'm supposed to go in the yellow door because it's all divided really weirdly. Apparently, I'm in the C block of S-Y-E instead of S-Y, and I don't know what any of that means. All I know is yellow door. Okay, take two. Yellow door, common room, stairs, and here is my empty dorm room that isn't occupied by other people. Well, this is another turn of events. I was under the impression I had a single room because I didn't have a roommate, but we definitely have two bunk beds here, which means I'm in a double room to myself, which is more space. But now it's time to go home, pack things up, and start moving in. My parents were nice enough to clean my bathroom before I came home for break, so I wanted to make sure I left everything as clean as I found it, and then I finally started packing. When I moved to Lawrence, I had everything packed at least a week in advance, but since I live really close, I put everything off until the day of. It is 5.15, I have some shoes, clothes, and then a couple boxes in the back. I'm gonna go drop those off, then go to this little mixer new student thing at 6, and then we'll do some more unmoving, un unmoving, do some more moving things around like 7.45ish. Got done with my event and then went to Home Depot to pick out a mini fridge. When I was in Lawrence, I had a full-size fridge in my apartment, and so I hadn't needed one, but I do need one now. It is 10.30. We are taking the rest of my stuff to my dorm. We have some stuff in my car, some stuff in the van, and I am exhausted. Absolutely just beat. I'm telling you right now, I don't know how much footage I'm going to get of me bringing stuff into my dorm this second time around. I am very tired. I want sleep. As expected, I didn't get a whole lot of footage. We moved things in. We made my twin XL bed, which was kind of difficult because it was lofted really high up. And this is what it looked like when I went to bed that night. Everything was there, but nothing was really put away. I finally got around to unpacking things the next afternoon. I had a break in between orientation and when I needed to be at work. So I took advantage of that hour and a half or so and started getting things done. It's about 9 o'clock. It has been a very long day again, but I went home, I picked up another laundry basket full of stuff, and I still have a few more things that I'm bringing tomorrow. I am taking full advantage of the whole my parents living within reasonable driving range thing. My jacket was getting a little warm, so I took that off and then started unpacking more boxes, and I also assembled my shoe rack and did a time lapse of that, but it was out of focus the entire time. I also put up all my knickknacks on my TV stand and that made me really happy. I genuinely love all the little things I've collected over the years and it brings me so much joy. I changed into a different shirt and kept unpacking. The weirdest thing for me was putting all my bathroom and shower things into a normal drawer. I've always kept that stuff in the bathroom, but I no longer have my own bathroom. We have semi-private bathrooms here in the dorms, so that's just how it is. 
this is what my drawers look like. We have clothes, a random office supply drawer, bathroom stuff, more bathroom stuff, some knitting supplies, and a few random brochures and dishes. I mostly eat dinner in the dining hall, but if someone would ever want to eat dinner in my dorm, I do have the cow plates to accommodate that request. I also have two empty drawers, but I don't have anything to put in there, so they're just kind of chilling right now. I detest putting duvet inserts in duvet covers. Something about it rubs me the wrong way, it's so frustrating for no reason, and if you think it looks familiar, that would be because I got almost exactly the same duvet as the one I have at home. I wanted to get something different, you know, spice things up for the dorms, but with COVID shipping delays, nothing would arrive in time, so I settled for what I know I like and works. Here we are, the old mattress topper has arrived. And this thing actually has more weight to it than one might um, imagine. It only took me one night on the dorm beds to realize I needed a mattress topper. Those dorm beds are extraordinarily uncomfortable. I took off the sheets and put the mattress topper on, but the mattress topper had this weird bump running down the middle, and after some googling, I found out you're supposed to let the topper sit for a few days and warm up before you put it on your bed, so I moved it over to my empty dorm bed and waited before putting it back on my bed for real. A couple of days after moving, I came back to the dorms to find a name tag on my door and a little gift. So I just got back from a walk and I found this on my doorstep. So let's see what's in this. Like I said, I still haven't actually met anybody. Um, I did accidentally run into somebody in the elevator. I don't even know how to open this. We got it. This <laughs> and, and then a whole bunch of assorted candy. This is so cute. It's been a couple weeks since I moved in, so I can show you the final setup of things. I feel like it looks empty. I really don't have a lot of stuff, but I've been to other people's dorm rooms and it looks more put together. So let me know in the comments how I can spice things up a little bit. There's not a whole lot on the desks. I did set up the cow paintings from the Lawrence apartment and a few other things. That's a note that I got on my car while I was at KU. We have my mini fridge and some snacks, my TV stand. I brought a chair from home and my other desk chair and those are set up in front of the TV. We have my bed, which is not made, <laughs> um, but I did get this little dorm pouch so that I can put my phone in there when I'm sleeping and I don't have to worry about it falling off the bed. Um, but yeah, this really is it. It does seem a little underwhelming. Like I said, I feel like it looks empty. I just don't have a lot of stuff. So let me know what I should do. But if you did enjoy this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!